Good evening and welcome back to Be Rich. My nephew and good friend Sashmat Swaminathan is here. Like I told you, so we've been talking for three days. And uh, today he's come up with a fresh topic. Last two days we have had Carl Icahn and Sam Zeal. And today we have uh, a completely different topic. And I hope you find it interesting. What do you say, Shashwat? Yeah. So today's topic is about uh, growth stocks and value stocks. Something we've been looking at from the past. And also the intelligent investor has talked about it almost many, many decades back. So here the debate between growth stocks and uh, value stocks have changed as of late in the sense that um, very recently in the S&P 500 over the past uh, six months, growth stocks have uh, blown value stocks out of the water. That is value stocks I'm counting as uh, stocks with low PE as the most common classification goes. And uh, so my question to you is, what is your preliminary analysis for why there's a counterintuitive effect? I'll explain why I think it's a counterintuitive effect, at least from a shallow way. In a shallow way, you see that interest rates are rising and you clearly see that uh, tech companies are struggling to keep costs down by cutting layoffs. And you know that uh, b- the business cycle is going through muted growth. And finally, you also know that people are going to lose jobs. So my question to you here is why do you think growth stocks, which are heavily dependent on low interest rates, are doing well? See, there are two types of stocks, growth and value. As the great Buffett taught us and his mentor, Graham. Benjamin Graham and taught God. us, value stocks are stocks which cannot issue stock as capital, yes. stock as currency. Yes. So they need to borrow money. So a classic example in India is within a group is Tata Steel. Tata Steel cannot issue stock as currency and replace debt. So they have to buy, borrow yes. money. Yes. And Tata Steel has a debt of 67,000 crores, cash equivalents of about 20,000 crores and roughly between 40 to 50,000 crores in debt. That's 50% level lower than what was at its peak. Yeah. Now in the same group, yeah. you have Tata Consulting Services, a company which is valued at 30 times earnings with practically no debt. Yes. This is because the cash can be, the stock can be issued as currency. So I want capital, I can issue TCS test, people will buy it. Titan has debt, but its business is going so rapidly and they are in multiple sectors, which has debt, but it can, its value, share is so valuable because it's a consumer facing business. Yes. And it has continuous growth streams. High operating profit. Uh, High operating margins. Plus, they are in different lanes. Yes. What the others think of today, they thought of yesterday. They bought carrot lane and they went to e-commerce with jewelry long time back. Yes. And they have expanded into silver and other jewelry before that. So they can issue, they are 75 times earnings. They are also covering all luxury products. So they are 75 times earnings. They yes. can issue cash. Yes. Now, so the problem is, as interest rates have risen, value stocks have to have more interest outgo. Yeah. Right? They have more interest outgo. The more the like gravitation, the more the interest you pay, yes. the lesser the profits you retain. Even if it is not today true, in the coming years, it is now very clear that the interest rate cycles have turned. You are not going to get 0% interest rates. Anytime soon. Yeah. And I don't think this year you are going to see Early. any cut in interest rates. Yeah. So the earliest cut in interest rates is going to come 18 months down the line. Meaningful cut. So the outlook for companies with debt, meaningful debt, is very low because you are most of them are in commodity facing businesses so you cannot pass on the yeah. you increase the cost it is a commodity driven business yes so you cannot increase your margins not much pricing power they don't have pricing power and at the same time interest costs are going to rise and the idea here behind having low pricing power is um, product differentiation yes so there's no so steel difference. is steel how much tata yes. is at the premium end of steel yeah but how much difference can you charge not very much yeah Whereas another group company of theirs, Indian Hotel, yes. can charge quite a bit. Definitely. Yeah. So it depends. This I'm giving you an Indian example altogether. Yeah. So the growth companies have pricing power. Yes. Their profits are not badly affected. No. And they have so much into network effects and network and other effects. Yeah. Their business is also not largely affected. And very recently with the AI boom, a lot of the companies, so your NVIDIA, your Microsoft, your... Uh, Bing, which is, uh, sorry, Bing is Microsoft and your Alphabet, which is BARD. All of these companies are the ones which have been performing in the past. Yes. With, with um, the AI boom, chat GPT ex- explosion, which has happened very recently. At the end of the day, yeah. not the companies you named, 
don't need that they're not yes. burning cash yes they're not yeah they are surplusing cash free cash flow is very high free, free cash flow is very high especially google yeah, yeah. free cash flow is very high yeah and they, they can they can take wild moonshot bets yes and their business is not inelastic yeah there might be a slight drop in the growth of advertisement but over one year the advertisement which they got will be largely similar yes so there is no pressure on business you are going to watch youtube for entertainment you are going yeah. to use google map you are you going to use google search if you are working in an office you will use ms office yes so i don't see any major downturn in they may not grow as much they as you thought they would grow the earning power isn't affected the earning power is not affected people are still going to use xbox and play yes so there is no absolutely no problem whereas in case of steel interest rates raise not only will i pay more industrial output goes down yeah my pay my pay my yes. will pay interest and at the same time the industrial output also drops yes demand for my product drops so i'm in a double whammy you're being squeezed between a rock and a hard a place. place same thing with automobile industry yeah and that's why tesla's results in the future will not be as great as in the past right and that's why charlie munger said mm-hmm. he didn't say about value and growth but it is true of both value and growth when you look at growth growth has been blown value out of the water out of the water yes but growth itself has not shown much growth because the stock market is practically where it is one year back yeah so basically what it is is people cannot expect outsized returns in equity anymore mm. because interest rates will turn real and they'll be real for a long time yes because jerome paul is not going to throw in the towel and say 3 months down the line it's okay 3% inflation and uh, another rationale for why defensive stock so a lot of value stocks are considered defensive because they yield positive returns in an environment where uh, treasuries were unable to but now that's changed with your 3 month treasury yields uh, being 5.22% so you're pretty much getting positive real return on uh, treasury bills rather than your then you don't even have to go into stocks and make it even more simple yeah apple and goldman sachs have formed a company they have an apple account which you park your money they give you 4% return so they are that, just parking it in the treasury for you yeah so you don't have to park it in the treasury yeah and have the friction you can park it in the apple account and take 4% so your ultimate defensive bet which is t bills have been made viable again exactly so that is sucking away a lot of but the people who invest in growth aren't the ones who are trying to be defensive but they're trying to be aggressive exactly the what is happening now is yeah lot of banks problems regional banks problem is not only because of the losses they are making yeah see the deposit rates are very cheap yes the overnight money market funds are at 5% yeah so i will take money from my bank and park it in the money market fund yeah that's exactly what is happening so this inter- rise in cost is what is hurting the value companies and uh, as of now consumption numbers in uh, the us haven't shown to dip as much See, there are two things like I told you yesterday. Yeah. One is you increase the cost of money. The other thing, the availability of money. Yes. You have just made the punch costlier. Yeah. You have not taken the punch bowl out, out yet. Yeah. So the day you take the punch bowl out is when you will have the crush. As oh. soon as consumption dips, then you will see profits. Yes. As well. Yes. I mean, profit anyway dips because your debt value has now gone up. Gone up. That terms. is for the value companies. Yes. but as consumption dips yeah you'll see even growth companies, companies will struggle for profits right but their cash flow position will be much superior to that of the value companies and that's why they will outperform and what do you think about the upcoming us debt ceiling news that's all hot baloney i think basically joe biden is wants to have the cake and eat it too yeah he is not begging and he's made it your problem yeah your debt your problem see if he does a understanding he takes the credit yeah as a president who passed it through a hostile congress right if congress doesn't pass the debt he will say the republicans are very responsible yeah so it's up to they them they can't let they can't let a technical default happen so the looks like it's a heads i win tails you lose yes situation for the republicans this is a classic case of game theory this is a classic game theory yeah and biden is exploiting it to the court right um but yeah that's about it 
Thank you for watching BDH. I hope you enjoyed our small chat. We looked at value and growth. We looked also looked at why this debt ceiling is a problem. And uh, I am away for the week. From Monday, Shashpat and my brother Vinod will take it over till I come back. Thank you for watching BDH. If you like this content, hit the like button, turn on the bell notification and subscribe to our channel if you want to see Shashpat. And always send this video to your friends and relatives and have them take a look. We had a meeting in Singapore. I was very pleased with the results. Indians received me with great love and affection and I enjoyed my time in Singapore. The meeting was a big success and I could meet up people from various walks of life. I miss going to Kuala Lumpur which is very close to Singapore, just four hours drive and I have been asked to come there. So it is my team decided on the 11th of June, Sunday, it will, we would do an event in Kuala Lumpur. If you would like to meet me in Kuala Lumpur, kindly send a message at the WhatsApp number given below and or drop a mail to the mail ID given below. My team would contact you at Williams. Once again, I thank you for your support for Beerage. It's a great privilege and honor that so many of you in thousands have subscribed to my channel and have supported me. I have written two books in English, The Alchemy of Money and Ordinary Stocks, Extraordinary Profits. These books are published by us and are ready. If you want to procure a copy, send us a message to the WhatsApp number given below and my team would respond to you. If you want an Amazon Kindle copy, you can click the link below. Finally, those who wish to consult with me can send a mail to beerichenglish at gmail.com. Once again, I thank you for your support. If you like this video, press the subscribe button of my channel, hit the like button and turn on the bell notification.